great crowd. Love you guys. I feel comfortable here. This is good. I don't always feel comfortable. I embarrassed myself recently. You ever walk into a garage sale and realize it's not a garage sale at all? It's just a dude sitting in his garage reading the paper. They look remarkably similar. I didn't even catch on right away. He goes, can I help you? I was like, nah, I'm just looking. <laughs> in my mind, that was a garage sale. In his mind, it was probably the most uncommitted home invasion ever. I'm just gonna browse, see if your shit's worth going to prison. It was an embarrassing moment. You know what embarrasses me most? Hiccups. There's never a good time for hiccups. You could be falling to your death from a skyscraper, you get the hiccups, I bet you'd still be pissed. <laughs> ah, shit, really, hiccups? <laughs> I'm never gonna be more scared than this. <laughs> Hate when people try to scare the hiccups out of you. That's an asshole move, don't do that. You get the hiccups, well, boo, thanks, fucker. Now I gotta change my shorts and I have hiccups? <laughs> we all know that's never worked in the history of man. But everybody has a remedy, right? Everybody has a remedy. Mention hiccups in a crowded room. You gotta stand on your head, you drink yogurt upside down from a golden goblet. Bob's gonna hit you in the face with a shovel and I'm gonna slam your dick in the door. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the hiccups, actually. <laughs> Thanks. My son gets the hiccups and he's shocked. He's six months old. You ever seen a baby with the hiccups? That's really funny. <laughs> He thinks it hit him from outside his body somewhere. Then he looks at me like I did it. I'm like, I didn't fucking do it, don't look at me. And then he's equally as shocked by the next hiccup. He doesn't get that there's a connection between the hiccups. I hope he gets smarter. That is chicken stupid, man. Chickens are that stupid. They spend their whole life in a state of terror and stupidity. How much would that suck? so scared of that they're with other fucking chickens <laughs> their heads are just so stupid <laughs> remarkably their bodies are actually kind of smart though you ever watch the heads like where do you want me to lay my head okay cool what do you do with that hatchet <laughs> and whack and the body's like all right we gotta get out of here now move there's very little time get the head we need navigation and a tourniquet now <laughs> We can fix this. <laughs> you should have spoke up 10 seconds ago, body. You're not helping out at all. <laughs> Who's in love tonight? Clap it up if you're in love. Let me hear you. Come on. Come on. Let it loose. Yeah. Some of you only half the couple clapped. That's awesome. <laughs> We're not? What the hell? What happened? <laughs> we are so irresponsible with the I love yous. Do you agree that we just throw them around? We throw around I love you like it doesn't matter. And then it desensitizes the word. Like the love you buy on the phone. Do you guys do that on the phone? Love you buy, love you buy. <laughs> I hate that love you buy. It's habit after a while. It doesn't mean love you, it just means goodbye. <laughs> you can be on the phone with anybody, your boss, be there at nine, Bill. All right, love you, bye. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> no! You done that? You can't call back. They have caller ID. They're not answering that next call. <laughs> you are stalking your boss, creepy. <sighs> Women love it. That's why we do it. Women love it. Say it. Say love you. <laughs> I don't want to say it. Say it. <laughs> love you. <laughs> your buddies are always right there. Homo! Dude, it's a girl! <laughs> Doesn't matter, fag. You guys are all so homophobic. We are all homophobic. I'm a straight man. I have gay friends that are homophobic. They're like, I just don't like queers. The heck. <laughs> You're fucking gay. <laughs> Every guy group has the one overly affectionate buddy in the group, too. Do you guys have the, that friend? The one dude who, like, kind of messes up the whole hangout session, makes it weird, kind of touching on the other guys, doesn't know when to stop touching everybody. Everybody's done saying hi. He's still making out with Bob for no reason. Like, you don't know Bob? Bob Cool, she gotta hang out with Bob. You'd love Bob. Bob's got a bass boat and a PlayStation. You love him. He likes Tuesdays and Christmas. It's awesome. 
You know how Bob and I met? It's a long story. Bob and I met, it's a long story. I, I could tell you if you wanted to hear it. I have nothing going right now, so I could totally tell you. Hang in there, Bob, we're almost finished, buddy. Nice work. It's just awkward. <sighs> they were clapping for you, brother. Not for me. <laughs> I did that in Southern Alabama. The dude passed out. <laughs> He's like, I can't, no, my family. Ah, oh. <laughs> His big redneck buddy's like, fucking kill them, man. <laughs> Don't give them mouth to mouth, homo. We know what you want. I thought it was funny that that dude's homophobia made him faint. It's actually a little bit gay when you think about it. Oh, Henry, it's just too much. Oh, reminds me of county. There's a lot of ignorance to make you pass out. But when people are ignorant about other people's lifestyles, they always try to cover it, because it's not cool anymore, right? It's cool, I'm open-minded. People do whatever the hell they want. Privacy, their own closet, I don't even give a shit. Just don't come hitting on Cooter. You know what I'm talking about, homos? If that's ever happened, like any gay guy in the history of gay guys has ever walked into a public place and gone, oh my God, look at that guy in the NASCAR jacket and the shit happens t-shirt, throwing out the racial slurs. Ah! I love him. Oh, I just want to farm with him. Farm. Put your thresher out the skull pocket. I'll be your back hoe. Let's do this. It's never going to happen. I have a gay uncle. Everybody has a gay uncle, right? If you have three brothers and none of you are gay, you're gonna have to draw straws on Thanksgiving and somebody's getting the wishbone. Those are the numbers. My uncle is not a little bit gay. He's not the kind of guy where you're like, that guy might be gay. He's the kind of guy where you're like, holy shit, that guy's gay. Did you see him? He had rainbows coming off him. I got a sequin in my eye when he went by. It's way too much gay for a barbecue. Asked him how long you've been gay one time, and he goes, I was born gay. I was born this way. I get it, he thinks it's biological and he's proud, but really just came right out of the womb going, oh my God, what the hell was that? I'm never going back in there, bro. Cut the cord, you ruined my birthday suit, bitch. I'm out. I'm out of here. Ew! Who's that spanking me? You are divine. Look at you, doctor. You better hit it, McDreamy. I'm a bad baby spanking. Own it. If you want it, let the liquor have to get up on it. Mm. Check my temperature, I got a fever. My mother's brother, my mother's very liberal. She was a political activist, which is like a hippie with a date planner. <laughs> very busy hippie. She taught us a lot of good stuff. She taught us a lot of bad stuff. She taught good stuff. She taught us how to smoke marijuana. You be the judge. All right. I was 12 years old the first time I smoked pot with my mom. The rule was you could do it with mom. A lot of households are like that. As long as you do it at home, that's fine, because then you can regulate that, keep your kids safe. Yeah. If you want your kids to not smoke marijuana, make them smoke it with you, because that is a buzz kill. <laughs> my friends are like, pop makes me paranoid. I'm like, makes you paranoid. I gotta smoke it with my fucking mom. <laughs> You're playing Atari and shit. We're making casseroles for nine hours and talking about learning. She taught us to fight racism. That was, we were members of the Committee Against Racism. That was a good thing. And uh, we grew up in Wisconsin. So we fought racism in Wisconsin. <laughs> There's no minorities in Wisconsin. That's like first grade softball, man. Everybody gets a trophy, nice work. <laughs> when I was eight, she moved us to Georgia where racism's like air. Have you been down there in Georgia? That's not humidity you feel in Georgia. That is liquid racism in Georgia. 
I know people thought animals were racist with him. I know guys like, my dog hates blacks. <laughs> He's like, your dog is black, jackass. <laughs> He only barks with black people. Well, he's probably asking for help, you crazy hillbilly. That'd be my guess. <laughs>